A rocket launch failure forced a NASA astronaut and a Russian cosmonaut to make an emergency landing earlier today. The two were headed to the International Space Station from Kazakhstan when the booster rocket failed after liftoff. The men separated from the failing rocket and deployed parachutes. Luckily, they were able to land safely. CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood joins us now via Skype for more on what went wrong. Bill, walk us through exactly what happened here. Well, we're not exactly positive what went wrong, but about two minutes and two seconds after liftoff from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, the commander, Alexei Ovchinin, reported a booster failure. Uh, that kicked off an automatic abort procedure that caused the spacecraft to separate from the rocket, as you said. They went way up, and then they came down. They landed, landed about 250 miles away, away from the launch site under parachutes. It's a, it's a well-practiced abort procedure. They certainly knew what they were doing. And as you said, uh, no harm, no foul. They were not injured. They came out of the capsule in good shape. Uh, but clearly a major setback for the Russian space program and the International Space Station. Yeah, it is good news that they are okay. Remind our audience, Bill, what was their original mission? Well, the original idea was to launch these two guys to the station. There's three people up there right now already. Uh, Nick Haig, the American astronaut on board, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, was going to carry out a spacewalk on October 19th and another spacewalk on the 25th. He had a very busy fall coming up, and now all of those plans obviously are going to have to be changed. Uh, the three people that are on board the station will stay there until December 13th is when they're scheduled to come home. But all of that's going to depend on the Russian failure investigation and whether or not they'll be ready to launch another crew on December 20th, which is the current plan. We don't know yet how this is going to play out. So, Bill, how will they uh, assess the issue and what exactly went wrong here? What's the next step for them? Well, we're not sure what went wrong. I'll, I'll show you my Soyuz model. And you know, this is such a reliable rocket, I've never had to refer to this before. <laughs> uh, they've never had a failure with this version. Uh, but they have four strap-on boosters, and right about the time these four boosters separated and fell away, that's when the commander declared an emergency. So something either happened with the strap-on boosters or with this central core stage. Again, we're not sure, but the top part of the rocket up here where the crew is, that's separated as planned and they landed in uh, in Kazakhstan, as we talked about. Uh, Dmitry Rozo, uh, Rogozin, who is the director of the Russian Space Agency, said they're going to form an investigation panel. They're going to look at all the telemetry. They can recover a lot of this wreckage downrange. They'll try to figure out exactly what went wrong. And then, of course, you've got to do something to make sure the next rocket doesn't have this problem. And the big question is, can they do all of that before the next flight, which, as I said, is scheduled for December 20th? So. There's a lot riding on all of this, and it's just too soon to say how it's going to play out. It will indeed uh, be interesting to see how it plays out, but the good news, they are okay. Absolutely. Bill Absolutely. Harwood, yep, always great to have you, Bill. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks.